Hi, this is Alan Edwards with L-36.com. I have tried dozens of ways to climb a mast, and I think this one is the best. I consider it safe because it is 100% redundant, but any method has risk, and safety is your business. I am presenting it here as what I do and not as what you should do. Like many methods, this one uses dual ascenders, but they don't have those sharp teeth that are made for frozen muddy rope like most ascenders. I think they are ideally suited to this method and a large part of why it works. It is easy getting up because I use the power of both my legs and advancing the ascender is as simple as you can see. I can get higher on the mast than with any other method because the bosun's chair is attached right to next to the knot. I can get high enough to easily service my instruments. There is not a lot of re-rigging at the top like with the Grigri and getting down is actually faster and more controlled than with the Grigri. I get down in less than a minute. I always tie my climbing lines to the eye of the shackle so I don't depend on the mechanism of the shackle. I use a bowline because it is strong, I know how to tie it, and it's easy to untie. I use a long tail for safety. I also use two climbing lines and secure them to cleats. I have tried several different harnesses and find the mountaineering harness like the Petzl Tour ideal. The top ascender is a Wild Country Rope Man 1. I attach my bosun's chair to it. The small carabiner on its wire allows me to easily hold it open when descending and provides a safety for grabbing the rope when if I let go. This special high temperature prussic provides a safety going up and an auto belay for this rappel going down. I attach it to my harness's rappel loop. The pulley will auto advance the prussic. I don't always use it. The lower ascender is a CT rolling lock. My foot loops are attached to it. It has a built-in pulley that makes it easy to advance it by pulling up on the line below it. The rolling lock is attached to the rope man with a sling, both for redundancy and to hold the rolling lock when it is locked open for descent. I also use a sling to attach my harness to the bosun's chair. I guess it isn't necessary, but it makes me feel safer. Here I am putting my feet in the foot loops and getting ready to go up. Going up is a simple process. I pull up on the rope below the rolling lock to advance it. Then I stand up while sliding the carabiner on the upper ascender up. The safety prussic needs to be checked or moved up manually. The dual foot loops allow me to grab the mast with my feet and that provides some security. When I get to the top I just raise the rolling lock up as high as I can and stand up. To get down I need to reverse what I did going up for just a few feet. I lower the rolling lock and slide the rope man down as I lower myself. I stop a few inches from the rolling lock. Doing this a couple of times frees enough line to set up the repel. The one thing I do at the top is install a repel device. I prefer an ATC as there is less chance of dropping it because it can be clipped onto a short sling while I thread the line through it. After it is threaded I can open the carabiner and clip it through the loop in the rope. I practiced this in my attic before I did it on my mast which I think is a good idea but it's pretty easy to do. After the ATC is rigged, I take the slack out by pulling up on the line below it. Then I raise the prussic to tighten up the line. At this point I stand and release the rope man and descend until all my weight is on the repel device. The prussic does an audible A so I don't have to touch it. Now I lock the rolling lock open and let it fall but it's still held on by its sling. Going down is very controlled. I hold the rope man open and push the prussic down. I can slow the descent by grabbing the prussic or speed the descent by gently pressing on the top of the prussic. I should note that the tighter the prussic is, the slower the descent will be. At any time I want to stop, I can squeeze down on the prussic with my hand or just release it. Releasing the rope man will also stop me. If the prussic is too tight, I have to push it down on the rope and then lift everything up toward the ATC to descend. There should be some YouTube links at the top. Click on them and go to my website where I will go over and explain this in more detail. If you enjoyed this video, please click subscribe or leave a comment. And thanks for watching.